Does Crime Pay? Verses in honor of Master Renyo Shonen by Ganson John Welsh Sensei. History shows that book burning, censoring, blocking, banning, and deplatforming all too easily and swiftly leads to imprisoning, censoring, banning, burning, and killing. This may result in many thinking, even if they are afraid to say, that in samsara some crimes pay. But the law of karma proves that in no way does crime pay over the long run. However, humans want, in the short term, to have their fun, at the expense of and detriment to others, friends, enemies, sisters, brothers, fathers and mothers. The elite, with their ill-gotten power and wealth, think that they can steal, lie, cheat and threaten those who are too afraid, weak, powerless, poor and lacking in health to speak, fight or in any way oppose the arrogant, ignorant elite, but they will in the future pay for their lack of kindness, compassion and truth in many ways as flawed and fallible beings suffering in samsara. We are helpless victims of our evil karma and cannot free ourselves from the negative consequences, so inevitably the inexorable sequence of cause and effect in the eternal chain of events that only Amida's primal vow can prevent proceeds unimpeded by pathetically feeble human attempts to impede, slow, stop or reverse this catastrophic torrent of folly, stupidity, greed, craving, grasping and ignorance, even though we foolishly believe that this is caused by chance. The Amida Dharma lineage masters speak with one voice. We have no other choice but to surrender our karmic destiny to Amida and his Dharma, as it is the only way we can be free forever from endless suffering in samsara and the unbreakable chains of our negative karma. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. The above verses were inspired by the following passages from the letters of Master Renyo, Renyo Shonen of Fumi, Gubanshu. Fascicle 2, Letter 2, On the Point of Departure. In the school founded by the Master, faith is placed before all else. If we ask the purpose of that faith, faith the answer is that, it is the point of departure enabling wretched ordinary beings like ourselves who lack good and do evil to go readily to Amida's pure land. Without attaining faith, we will not be born in the land of utmost bliss, but will fall into the hell of incessant pain or avici. If we then ask how to attain that faith, the answer is that, relying deeply on the single Buddha Amida Tathagata, we give no thought to any of the various good deeds and myriad practices, and, dismissing the inclination to make petitions to the various Buddhas and Bodhisattvas just for this life, and discarding false, erroneous thoughts, such as those of self-power, we entrust ourselves single-heartedly and steadfastly, without double-mindedness, to Amida, without fail. Amida embraces such people with his all-pervading light and will not abandon them. Once we have attained faith or shinjin in this way, we should bear in mind that the Nembutsu we say at all times, sleeping or waking, expresses our gratitude for the benevolence of Amida who saves us. Those who understand as explained above are indeed exemplary of what it is to have attained faith fully according to our tradition. If there are people who say that there is something else over and above this called this called faith, they are greatly mistaken. We can never accept such a claim, respectfully. What has been set down in this letter is the right meaning of faith taught by Master Shinran of our tradition. Those who thoroughly understand these points must never discuss anything to do with this faith in the presence of other sects and others not of our tradition. Furthermore, we simply do not rely on any of the other Buddhas and Bodhisattvas or on the various kami. We must never belittle them. We must recognize that each and every one of the various kami is indeed included within the virtue of Amida, the one Buddha. Without exception, do not disparage any of the various teachings, 
By adhering to these points, one will be known as a person who carefully observes our tradition's rules of conduct. Hence the Master said, quote, Even if you are called a cow thief, do not act in such a way that you are seen as an aspirant for Buddhahood in the afterlife, or as a good person, or as a follower of the Buddha Dharma. End quote. These were his very words. We must practice the Nembutsu, keeping these points very carefully in mind. Written on the evening of the twelfth day, the twelfth month of Bunmei 5, 1473, pages 15 and 16. Fascicle 2, letter 4. On severing crosswise the five evil courses. Question. The reason why the primal vow of Amida Tathagata is said to be all-surpassing is that it is the supreme vow made for the sake of ordinary beings like ourselves who, belonging to the defiled world of the last Dharma age, commit evil and lack good. Yet, we have no clear understanding as to how we should conceive of this and how we should entrust ourselves to Amida in order to be born in the Pure Land. Please tell us about this in detail. Answer. Sentient beings living now in the last Dharma age should simply entrust themselves exclusively to Amida Tathagata, even though they do not rely on other Buddhas and Bodhisattvas as well. The Buddha has vowed with great mercy and great compassion that, however deep their evil karma may be, he will save those who single-heartedly and steadfastly take refuge in one Buddha, Amida, sending forth the great light of his compassion. He receives them within that light. Hence the Contemplation Sutra teaches, quote, The light shines throughout the worlds of the ten directions, and sentient beings mindful of the Buddha are embraced, never to be abandoned. End quote. Because of this, the way that will surely lead us to the evil courses, the five paths or the six paths, is closed off through the inconceivable working of Amida Tathagata's vow. How this comes about is explained in the larger sutra. One severs crosswise the five evil courses, and the evil courses close off of themselves. Therefore, however much we may fear that we are going to fall into hell, when we entrust ourselves with a single thought, without a single thought of doubt, to the Tathagata's vow, those of us who are received into a mere Tathagata's embracing light will not fall into hell through our designing, but are certain to go to the land of utmost bliss. When this has become clear to us, since it is we who receive the immeasurable benevolence of the Tathagata's great compassion, all we can do day and night, morning and evening, is to say the Nembutsu in gratitude for the Buddha's benevolence, repeating the name at all times. This is precisely what it is to have attained true and real faith, respectfully. In the year, sixth year of Bunmai, 1474, the evening of the fifteenth day of the second month, remembering the day long ago when the great sage, the world-honoured one, passed into Nirvana. Beneath the lamp, rubbing my weakening eyes, I have finished blackening my brush. Age 60. Seal. Page 18. Namo Amida Butsu.